I'm going to work through uh, question three in your Pure Maths test uh, for you now. I think it's question three, yes. And we've got the function f of x is defined as 48 divided by x minus 1. Uh, and the domain is 3 is less than x, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 7. And we have a function gx, which is 2x minus 4. And it is for a domain of a is less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to b. Now, uh, if we have the composite function of g, f of x, what are a and b going to be? In other words, the minimum uh, that we can chuck in here and the maximum we can chuck in here. So, what you want to do in this circumstance is toss in these values into f. So, if we chuck in a 3 here, we'll have 48 divided by 2. Uh, and that will give us 24. And if we chuck in a 7 here, 48 divided by 6, which is 8. So that is the range and values between 8 and 24 that f spits out for us. Now, in a composite function, remember how uh, it's you put, put in your values into f, and whatever that spits out, you chuck into g. That's how the composite function works. So our minimum value is going to be 8, so we would say a is equal to 8, and b is equal to 24. The second part of this uh, question is asking us to form an expression for g f of x. So remember how we do this, g into 48 over x minus 1, and uh, then we put in uh, this value as x into our g. So this will be 2 into 48 over x minus 1, all minus 4. And so that will be 96 all over x minus 1 minus 4. Oh, this takes us to our, our final part uh, in this question where we have to find the inverse of this composite function. So I like to start off by saying uh, that we have y is equal to g f of x. So this is going to be 96 all over x minus 1 minus 4. Uh, so I will uh, go y plus 4 is equal to 96 over x minus 1. Uh, at this point I will go y plus 4 uh, is equal to uh, into x minus 1 is equal to 96. So I've just multiplied both sides by this. Uh, then I'm going to go x minus 1 is equal to 96 all over y plus 4. And then x is equal to 1 plus 96 over y plus 4. Now, um, we can do our magic wand. I should have perhaps done it earlier, but we can do it at the end here is fine. Um, and I will have y is equal to 1 plus 96 over y plus 4. And we will put this in the correct form. Whoops, that should have been x there. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. And that is uh, all of the parts to question 3.